And this way I'm going to talk about a couple more functions um, that are technically functions for arrays. But since we assume our array is uh, like our text, it's an array of characters, they often applicable for text also. But I'll show you, uh, I'll show you how they, um, they work for both. So first of them is a contains. So as you see here, it accepts array, either array, array, or like a flat array of values or a text. And then it checks if the current value uh, literally exists inside this array. It means either the text contains some particular uh, part of it, like contains some character or word or so, or array contain, array, can one of the array's element are equal to this value and it returns a bowling, bowling uh, variable. So that is uh, like true or false. So that means that contains in many cases and in most of the cases we might say work together in pair of uh, things like if because you check the statement and if the text contains something then you do something, right? So I will start uh, exactly like this with a if and contains into it. So simplest definitely will check my text. Let's say so hello world. Well, let's use the variable to be more real. Something so my variable test will be a hello world thing with a dot. So I will say so if my test contains and my argument here will be hello then and I have the if statement uh, then I will say good right so if it says uh, if it has uh, hello I will have a good in output so that's what we've got so once again my text is hello world, it contains hello exactly as it is, right? So if I will just change it to lowercase, my output will be nothing just because uh, it uses exact match, right? If And if the particular thing like hello with a space, for example, because we have hello and space exist, then I will have true here as a, my if statement condition and I will have the positive statement of if because if I break it we'll do something like two spaces which I don't have because I have hello space and another word my thing will return me nothing just because my if statement does not have opposite if I put it like no good for example that will return me no good Okay, that's how it works. Uh, and um, that also applicable to arrays. So just assume uh, my array contains some element. And here, actually interesting because another function that I want to explore today will be a split. And split, it's a super common function for me because I usually use a split to create arrays. So how works a split? It literally, again, as you may read in the description, takes some text, okay? And it uh, use a separator to return the array, okay? So that's how it works. So if we will take some text, so for example, it's super common for any numbers or so. So we had a our in expression we have our hello world so i i assume i may have a text i may have whatever i like right so hello test for example then i have another piece of a text nice and here will be just a simple text so that is piece of a text right and accordingly to my uh expression uh description the the function description here i have first argument it's a text right and then the second one will be a separator. So as a separator here, I will use a comma. So that means 
that will be my first array item that exactly with the space will be my uh, second item that exactly with the space will be my second item so let's just run it to see how it worked so as you see my test now it's array uh, let's see if it's got it yeah it's actually uh, trim it my uh, array items which is also interesting um, thing for the split it will also trim the text as as you have here and it will also replace these empty guys so if i will run it like this so you see we we do not have the item number uh one two three four right so it just does not exist because it was empty so technically i should have just empty item of my array here but I don't have it. I just have four items, so that was trim it. So if you read the description of split, uh, it says uh, keep empty string. So that means if keep empty string is true, empty substring are preserved in the array. So that is third argument. And if I will put a true here, uh, I believe both text and uh, the text and a, and a keyword both will work the same because it uh, technically just converts uh, whatever you have here to a logical expression. So it will just convert text true to that true. And that will uh, allow me to keep the empty items. So just you to remember. Uh, so now we have array. So you remember we spoken about like, um, that function uh, contains works also with the arrays. So right now my test is array of some elements and one of the elements, which is hello text, uh, hello test in this case, I might just put something else, let's say some number in front to like kind of confuse it a bit, right? So we say not the first one and it's hello with a space. Okay, so you see it's exactly hello with a space. So now my variable should show me something else. Yeah, it shows like 20 second, 22 something, like a first item in uh, that array, right? Uh, so now we will try this and we will see how our contains works with the array, not a text, but array, because this is array with a several items in it. And if it will match, this one. So technically we will match uh, not to a text string, right? But we will match to array. So to pass this one and to get a good, our array item should be exactly as the one that we have here, which is hello text. So just to be exact, always go to output and see. So that exactly matching thing. So now, according to this, we should have not good. Okay, just because we're matching uh, array items to that. And array items does not contain exactly this item. So we should have a not good here, right? But if we uh, will add exact item, just again, in comparison to a text, which is array itself, and if we will just say to, to text like, if the text hello something contains hello space, then yes. But if we say if uh, array items, like not array items, but array does array contains hello space. No, it doesn't contain hello space, but it contains hello space test. And that's exactly what we're testing here. So now we should have a good because one of the items of our array exactly matches to something that we test. So these these guys, how works these two contains and a split. So and you also uh, saw that uh, definitely contains in many, many cases, uh, you may combine it with a switch, you may combine it with a uh, if. So that's uh, logical, right? So if the thing returns us a bowling, so we have to use it either in filter or in a function somewhere else. So just uh, have that 
uh, building value it's kind of boring right so this true I don't know what you will do with it so that uh, how it works you just use it as as a checker kind of for some condition for some function for uh, like to, to use that uh, checked value further so hope it helps